Okay, here is section uh, 3.3, uh, exercise 42. And this is the same sort of stuff. We're just trying to use the first derivative test. Um, so we're told f of x is cosine of x. Uh, sine, well, actually sine of x first, then cosine of x. I'll write it that way. Uh, sine of x cosine of x and plus 5. So uh, in A, we're actually sort of combining what we did in previous exercises. We're finding the critical numbers and the, the intervals of increasing and decreasing. Uh, but to do that, I need the derivative. So it looks like a product rule. The 5 is going to disappear with a 0. Um, product rule on the sine and the cosine. So the derivative of the cosine is or sorry, the sine is the cosine. So I'll get cosine of x times cosine of x, and then plus uh, sine of x times the derivative of the cosine, which is minus sine of x. And so this is uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And let's see, off the top of my head, that's... Um, that's something like uh, the sine of 2x, maybe. Um, anyway, there's a trig identity that goes with this that could uh, make setting this equal to 0 a bit easier, right? Because we need to know when this is equal to 0, f prime of x equals uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared x equals 0. Now, you know, one way we could do this is, uh, well, we, you know, this is going to be true when um, sine squared x uh, equals cosine squared x. Okay, so I just moved the sine to the other side of the equals, but switch things because I like the sine on the left-hand side for some reason. And then I could take the square root of both sides. And so what we need is that the sine of x is either uh, plus or minus the cosine of x. So actually, I can solve that um, because that happens, you know, on the unit circle. Okay, I'm looking at um, places like pi over 4, um, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So I can actually do this one because I know my, my trig angles um, pretty well with sines and cosines. And, and so um, the, it is going to be at those four angles that sine and cosine have the same absolute value, which is what this is saying. And so my critical numbers... Uh, are uh, those values of x. Uh, so r uh, pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, uh, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Uh, now, I, I did not mention, but if you looked at the directions for uh, 42, um, we're looking on the interval uh, from 0 to 2 pi. Um, and actually, it's the open interval. Uh, that's an interesting thing. So it's the open interval, 0 to 2 pi. Uh, now, that doesn't really affect us with any of these because all our critical numbers, you know, none of them are 0 or 2 pi. But um, now to find increasing and decreasing, I can start at 0. Uh, I'll go at pi over 4, uh, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and go up to 2 pi. So now I need to look at the derivative, right? Here's the derivative, cosine squared uh, x minus sine squared x, and so between 0 and pi over 4, I'm in here. 
And the question is, which is bigger, the cosine or the sine? Because you see this is the cosine squared minus the sine squared. So whichever one's bigger wins, and it's the cosine is bigger here. So inside here, we get a positive. Okay, f prime is greater than zero. We get a positive. Then in here, the sine is actually bigger than the cosine, so uh, f prime is going to be negative minus. And of course, I could do this by evaluating numbers between 0 and pi over 4 and so forth. But here, the, just knowing the unit circle is a whole lot easier for me. And then, um, again, everything's squared, so I don't really care whether sine or cosine is... Um, uh, positive or negative, I just care which is bigger. And uh, once again, in this portion, the, um, we get that the sine is bigger, and so this is f prime is less than zero. Uh, then we get to this portion here, and that's positive because the cosine is bigger, f prime is greater than zero. Uh, similarly, cosine bigger in there, f prime is greater than zero, and um, did I leave something out? Let's see. Okay, so I got uh, between, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so that's all in there. I was kind of just looking in this one spot, and actually, okay, so, oh, I screwed it up, didn't I? Okay. So sorry about that, eh, but I caught it. I screw up a lot, but I usually catch it, not always. Um, okay, so zero to pi over four, the the sine, uh, the cosine was bigger, that was positive. But see, I looked just in this little pi slice, but I needed to look everywhere in there, but the, the cosine uh, is smaller and the sine is bigger everywhere in there, so that is negative. But now I'm in this whole piece here where the uh, cosine is bigger. So we're back to a positive. So f uh, prime is greater than zero. Then we are all in here between five pi and seven pi over four. And um, so in there, the uh, sine is bigger. So we're back to a negative. Uh, f prime is less than zero. And then finally, in that pie slice, we're also a positive again. Um, and so we've got f prime greater than zero. Okay, and again, you don't, you know, you don't have to appeal to the uh, unit circle and all that and sines and cosines. You can, you can simply pick a number. Uh, pi over four is, you know, somewhere around three fourths. Try a half. You know, try it with a half in there. Um, then uh, here, um, we're, we've got pi over 2. That's a nice thing to try. So pi over 2. Uh, and then pi is inside there. And then 3 pi over 2 is inside there. And then again with the with 2 pi and so forth, I, I'd probably try something like the number 6. Um, because that will be really close to the 2 pi, but less than 2 pi. So, you know, I could try f prime at each of these types of numbers, uh, but if I do, I should get, you know, a positive and negative and so forth as I have here. So then, uh, I'll draw it here, uh, you know, relative maxes and mins. Well, we were going positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay, and so, um, power of four, three, five, four, four, yeah, okay, and, um, and so at pi over four, all right, I have a maximum, uh, minimum, relative again, of course, these are relative. Uh, they may be absolute maxes and mins, but right now we just know they're relative and a relative min here, okay? So, um, 
we have that for each of these and again we can uh, go check this on Desmos and so the function is um, up here and it goes from 0 to 2 pi so that's um, 0 to 2 pi is just past uh, see there's the 7 pi over 4 uh, and that is a relative minimum. There's 5 pi over 4. And decimals is amazing to me that, you know, it does everything numerically, but it actually knows that's 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 and so forth. And there's my 3 pi over 4 and my pi over 4. So there are the, the critical numbers, um, and we have a maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum. And that's what we found. And so that is exercise 42.